Yo, part three, welcome to part three, part me. We back. But yeah, so, you know, like I said, you know, I was going back with Cole and Cole, I was coming out the, uh, coming out, uh, the locker room. And, uh, after we come, came out the locker room, I come walking, I'm walking down the hall by myself. I see Tayshawn Prince, I'm like, damn, he tall as hell. I'm talking to him, I'm like, he was cool, he was mad cool. Now, I talked to him in New York after they won the championship when he was with Elton Campbell and them in Detroit Pistons. So I talked to him and Bob in New York in the club. My, D. Miller was there, you know what I'm saying? And we went in the back and all the Pistons came in. That's the same time Timberland Cornball was there. Timberland was looking funny towards us, you know what I mean? But anyway, the, the Pistons showed love and he's back there chilling with the Pistons. So anyway, um, yo, Cobb, so Cobb comes down. It's Tyson Chandler. He walks through, says what's up, talking, we chilling, and then Cole comes by, his big self, man, he's taller than LeBron, taller than Mike, man, Mr. MJ, Mr. Jordan, man. I'm like, yo, he's bigger than these fellas, like, I mean, he's like the same height as LeBron or taller. So when Cole comes by, he was talking, he was like, yeah, what's up, Mr. BX? What's up, Mr. Bronx? Yeah, he does it again. I'm like, Cole was throwing up the X from, like, you know, it was like the best competition because I love to compete. I love to compete. Dang it. I fast. I, I got too fast on this story. I, I, I sped up. Partly, I sped up because before we get to this point in the hallway, we have we have um the point when we have like you know when we have shoot around. So you have shoot around before the game, but like early in the day. Pardon me, y'all. I sped up a little too quick, man. This is crazy because I don't usually talk about certain things like this. Like I just keep it to myself. But Kobe is just so influential. He meant so much to the people. I just want to get this out. Cause Kobe, man, God bless you. You touch me, pause, and and like you, you inspire me to fight harder for my son, fight harder for my life, man. I want the people to understand you a good dude, man. You are a good dude, man. I can't lie, you. I can see it in your heart. Dang, I'm about to tear. I don't even do this. It's crazy. I'm about to really tear. That's bug. But Kobe's a good dude, man. Like, cause like yo, he didn't have to talk to me. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people don't get. Kobe didn't have to say nothing to the kid from the Bronx, New York. Nothing to, nothing to the kid that his family, you know, is from Virgin Islands and his mom worked hard. Nothing to the kid that busted his butt in the park in a project. She almost got killed multiple times trying to play this basketball and pursue this life of basketball and uh, pursue this life of happiness. Like, he didn't have to speak to me. You know, all the people that thought I was crazy and all that just because I come from the Bronx and come from New York and I ain't take no shit at Pitt and I ain't take no shit nowhere else and I was ready to fight for mine at any time. He didn't, he didn't diss me for that. He commended me for standing.